All right, now we're going to be in part two of my work in progress. And as you can tell, I've already started a little bit. I haven't started on the armor parts or the inner frame yet, per se. I've actually started on mainly the even or the the gold parts will be part of the head and other like chest area parts, and then I got the golden parts here, or do you have these clear parts that are going to be in copper, but I noticed something when I was building this, or not building, look at the manual, and I noticed, where is it, like right here, at the, the little vents here, you see they're golden, as well as on the side of the legs. And the little spots are like popping up. Sorry for the glare. But as you can see, it's there's golden parts and then you just got the clear parts. Well, you know the clear parts are going to be copper. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, prime, these, eh, prime all these as usual. And then I'm going to paint them. Paint these in their respective gold after I do a black gloss base of course same with these but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm actually gonna use a new product that I'm gonna try out the uh, Mr. Masking Soul Neil and once I paint this gold I'm gonna mask it and once that's done, when that dries, I'm going to paint that copper. So only the little area that would be exposed, which is, let me take it off the thing here, which is this little square area right here. That's going to be the golden part. I also have the... Uh, other parts that are going to be golden, but with these, I was thinking since these are going to be covered, you're not really going to see the uh, this part that well. You're just going to see this part and the sides. I'm just going to paint the whole thing, or just do the whole thing black, and then just spray these parts in gold here, here, and here as well, so that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at the manual and looking at this. But it's like these little side nubs here are going to be exposed when the armor's on top of it. So, that's going to be nice. And what's interesting is that with this kit, is that these parts right here are actually separate from the, uh, the clear part, which is... If you wanted to take them off and paint them individually, that would have been fine. But since I'm going to just do a straight shot here, like just paint this part gold, down here part gold as well, I might as well just do that and then go back later and just take a panel line and go in here with a panel line marker, as I just said, and just blacken that out, which should be nice and easy. But, yeah, so... But like I said, with this, this part, this will just be straight up gold. So, this is how all the parts look like before being painted. Or, actually, before I even do that, this is also going to be gold. Just on its own. Because I was looking at the front here. Like you see here, it's also a little bit golden so might as well do that so <laughs> so now this is how everything looks like before being painted and here we are with the parts now in their respective colors I also did the black while I was doing all that it you only have to do this one pass a nice glossiness to it it's just going to look very nice when it's 
put together. I also put these parts on here so it can represent underneath, but this is the psycho frame right here, which came out very nice. And then we got the very nicely done uh, V horn, which I really like how this gold came out. This is pale gold, so it comes out very nicely shiny. And what I did was with this, I painted all browns in a copper, and then I went back, uh, or I painted this bottom part in gold, went back, uh, covered it up, and then painted it copper. So it's going to be, when it's on the skirt, you'll see the copper and the gold. So that's going to be very nice. I got to go back and fix that, because I had to, f it scraped up a little bit, so I got to, Repaint it. Not a big deal. And here's part of the legs, which you'll see underneath. Mainly it's just the uh, three parts you're going to see sticking out, but I, did, I painted the whole thing just to get it out of the way. But I thought that was a very, this was a very good paint session. Uh, I got three colors done now, and oh, also. Before I forget, I also did this. You're wondering, well, why did I do that? I was looking at the manual and it comes with all the parts for the shield, so I'm going to put the shield on the back and uh, extend it. So, that should be, it should look very nice. But, yeah, that's all the parts that I got done. Uh, next shall be the inner frame and some other great parts as well. I forgot to add that on my Facebook page. And then it'll be the outer armor, which of course will be in this color. And what I did was I actually did a little test already. And here's how the color looks. Very nicely, very nice dark color. It's still blue, but it's nice and dark. So, it should be really easy to work with. So, you guys, I shall now be getting on to the next part, which will be the inner frame.